You may recognize him from Wonder Woman 1984, but now Christopher Palaha has joined with acclaimed writer and author Anna Gomez to write a romance novel. Christopher and Anna are joining me now to talk all about it. Welcome to both of you. Hi. Hi. Well, Chris, I'm gonna start with you. You know, when you think about a romance novel, you think about a female author writing for a female audience of these kind of romance novels. Why did you feel like you wanted to get in that game? That's a great question, Lisa. Um, I don't know that I thought of it that intensely. I don't know that I gave it that much forethought. I just knew that I have been on some Hallmark movies and there's a really awesome audience um, that is just fervent and, and sort of follows, follows the actors that they love wherever they go. And um, I don't know, I just thought it would be, because truth be told, in those Hallmark movies, they always talk about the most uh, lucrative books are romance novels followed by mysteries. And so I was like, well, I want to write, write a romance novel. And then Anna and I were talking one day and she has these amazing books that she's written and was hoping to, you know, just kind of tiptoe into the idea of producing them for Hallmark. And I looked at all of them and said, you know what, these are, in, these are really good. And I think what they should be is either on Netflix or Apple TV. I said, but if you ever wanted to co-author something with me that we can market for that Hallmark audience, we could do that. And then Anna was like, well... I happen to have a series. You want to you want to co-author that with me? And I was like, sure, yeah, well, of course. And Anna, so Anna, let's talk to, because here's the thing: is that you have you you and I talked about this. You you know you have successfully written several of these types of books under a pen name that people might recognize, Christine Bray. Right. But tell me about when this actor this you know comes to you and's like, I want to co-author a book. You're like, what did you say? I love the face she's making when she says act. This like it's actor like a, wants to write a book? Wait, what? I'm, I'm who I am. So how, how did that come to be? Well, first of all, when we met, I mean, we clicked immediately. So we were talking about so many things and he was so open about just the industry itself, which I had, I knew nothing about, you know, about script writing and producing and whatnot. So I was kind of enthralled by like the whole, like there's a possibility that, you know, we could market it to Hallmark and whatnot. So that was the first thing I was thinking, but he was also very honest about like, you know, what to expect and what not to expect. So when he said, you know, what about, you know, maybe one day just collaborating on, on something together, you know, I wish it just so happened that I was already working on this one book. It was a series, but I really thought it would just be one book, <laughs> um, you know, and, and, and for Hallmark. So it was going to be different from my other books in that it was, clean, straightforward, no angst, happy ending. And, you know, I decided to give it a try. And when he offered to join me in that journey, I thought, you know what, it's going to be different for me. It's also going to be a new thing for him. So it was just very interesting for me. I, it was a so, really good collaboration. Yeah. That's what I was just going to say. I, I love the idea of the collaboration because obviously, Chris, you're coming from a very specific world right of this this hallmark movies that are all loving you know all of this and and anna you're coming from your literary world and i want to talk about the the synergy that had kind of came together for moments like this which is the name of the book name of the book i mean i'll just say one thing real quick it's not that far off like if you look at all my television and, and movie work I always play like just because of you know i'm i'm like the romantic lead so i've dealt with women my whole career my, my, all my movies and shows involve relationships with women. So women are integral to who I am as an actor. Um, and there was a, it was a really natural fit. So I was thinking, for me, it wasn't like this giant leap. For me, it's very much Anna and I have this working relationship that is very much a collaboration. And we get together on Zoom and we talk and we spitball ideas. And we have this really fun, it's a fun working relationship and what we're doing is creating these stories which are just like the stories that you see in movies and on tv and the books that she's written before so i mean it's about about a guy and a girl and they meet and they fall in love and, and so i think it was an easy thing for both of us to obviously she's an expert at it um and so for me it wasn't that far off because it's not like i was an action star then all of a sudden I was like, right oh, no I'm that's gonna... yeah that's what i mean you're really immersed in that world already and so i'm wondering you know what would you like 
Anna, for your fans of your books, your previous books to kind of get from this, is it a totally different vibe from what, you're, what your fans are used to? Or is it just kind of one and the same with what your fans are, are used to seeing and, and reading from you? I mean, it's it's not totally different because there's always a lesson. You're always going through a catharsis. You're always changing. It's always a woman's journey from from one thing to the other. It's the only thing was really that you know the romantic part of it. It's just totally cut out, and it's it's amazing how the book was a, more fun to do because of that because you had to build more character and plot. Um, you know, that would kind of make make sure that the readers get to know the people and the romantic connection without really describing part of it, without uh, describing that, you know. Right. And I learned that from Chris because he was walking me through, you know, exactly like what does the audience look for and where are the limits? You know, I didn't know. I made fun of it the whole time. And, you know, <laughs> but I mean, he, he would walk me through and say, this is too much. This is not too much. We're okay here this is fine, you know? And so that was a learning thing for me as well. Well, I, I actually I love had a character that didn't swear. Like you were like, <laughs> we can't swear in these books. And so you have a but character. Like, little... We made fun of it. I took a character <laughs> that really used to swear and couldn't swear. And I made it a part of the story. And I had this amazing idea for a saga or a series that took place in Hawaii. I had shot a show that took place in Hawaii back in 2004 called North Shore. So I knew the islands intimately. I had a lot of great memories about them. And it just seemed like a really natural fit. There's always room for romance and there's always room for rom-com, just how well you tell those stories. So I think what's exciting about this, this series is that if we find a readership, which I'm, I'm feeling like we're gonna, we sold out on our first run already and we're already in our second print. I mean, it's a pretty amazing, you know, it's awesome. Like we, we've launched this really fun book. And turning those books into movies will hopefully have the same effect as a Bridgerton or as a Million Paris or as any of these great romance you know, shows that you've seen before. And the, the joy of having a series is that you'll get to know one character or a group of characters or a couple of characters, and then you'll see them progress throughout these books and then hopefully these films. So How we're creating exciting. a- What an exciting time for I, for both of you. I mean, I think with all of this, how fun. And I, I have to ask, the last thing I want to ask is for each of you, for Anna and for Chris, what was the most, you know, because these, these romance novels have some very detailed sometimes descriptions of romance and super sappy language. And I'm wondering, is there something in there when you wrote it, you're like, mm. was there any like language that was very- you know, kind of the stuff that makes you blush. Not for me. I mean, compared to what I wrote. Compared to what you should, yeah, she's in. And I, I don't even write explicit like stuff like that. But no, I mean, I think, I think, I think it's actually a book that I'm so proud to hand out to like even my kids. When I signed up with Anna to do these things, I was like, "Yeah, we can do romance. I can do romance." And she sent me one of her books, and as I was reading it. All of a sudden it dawned on me because I don't read romance novels. I never had. But I did remember that like there was those Harlequin ones where they get really naughty, where it's like super naughty. And even Anna's books written as Christine Bray, like there's they're really classy. And they but I was like, oh no, what am I getting into? Because I was like, I don't think I can do that. And we don't do that. Like it's it's something that we can you can share it with your mom and your kid. And 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 it's just they're good stories, they're just good, wholesome love stories. Well, I am so happy for you guys. Congratulations on the book. It's called Moments Like This. It's a series. We're going to see what? Hopefully several of them. Five. <laughs> and hopefully movies to follow. Anna and Chris, lovely to see you. Thank you for your time. Thank you Thank for you. having us.